don't know. Maybe I'll just make it um, open to the public and not put any tags and cram. Mm. She's a hell of a woman in general. Cause you know I don't, I don't mess in doo doo. It is not the wonderful uh, life awakening journey that it is for most ratchet chicks. It's not going to be that for you because you're already a hell of a woman. <laughs> no matter how you wear your hair. So when your hair was straight, when your hair was or wasn't was relaxed, and you you are a hell of a woman either way it goes. So let me just tell you this. Everything is wonderful in, to them because it's a life journey for them. Somehow their hair follicles make them a, more of a woman. So then it's this, this amazing thing. But they um, lose sight of the reality that this is difficult to maintain. Just as hair, just as the style, it's, it's go you're going to have your trying times as you are right now. Now when I saw you, I kept my hands in your hair. Um, when I felt your hair was very, very soft, but it was um, layered with product, so you know what, I'm not even going to discuss that right now because I think that's a big mistake. Um, take care not to be consumed in product right now. It's new for you and it's going to take some getting accustomed to, not because you don't like it or because you know it doesn't look attractive enough for you because you are attractive because of who you are but I understand you want want everything neat right now I'm in wild mode and my hair is actually long enough now to where I'm getting a more consistent regimen and I'm still and it's always something to learn it just um, that that kind of thing amazes me about certain things it amazes me about gardening and uh, it amazes me about caring for our natural hair how much more there always is to learn but what you have to be cautious of is when you're engaged in an experience that always has something more to learn you will always have ratchet folks popping up out of nowhere trying to sell you something and conv by convincing you that you need something to make better uh, um, to be more uh, conducive to the development of your hair health. Having said that, I would say, ironically, don't worry too heavy about brand products. People are not going to tell you that because they're, they're, they're I won't say they're everyone, but people are generally more interested in selling you on their idea. And in the end, products. Ultimately, in a lot of these cases, people are going to end up wanting to sell you something or get you to buy something from one of their friends, uh, vendors, or affiliates. It's a networking thing. This hair, whole hair trend is, no, is, very, is not different from a lot of other things that people want, where people want to sway you. So, again, in your, with your TWA. So... What I was feeling as I was rummaging through your <laughs> follicles was, um, and listening to what you were saying to me about dryness and your frustration with what to do and uh, at that point. And I know you have many events and appearances where you need to make sure that, that, you, that your hair is intact. So, uh, starting from the beginning, and then I'll do a separate video from like where I am now. So then, when you get to that point, then you could just, you know, listen. You or and then maybe whoever else wants to listen to, because I'm not gonna. I mean, I am that person that's just not trying to sell you stuff. So, but sharing information. Not that anybody else is not doing that, but woo woo woo. So. Um, with the t uh, like I said, what I was feeling and <clears throat> hearing from you was frustration with knowing what to do from that point. From what I felt, it felt like um, it, it was it was soft. Your hair was very soft, and um, again, the person I'm talking about has a TWA, but it also felt uh, built up. 
like you were searching for your magic product right now, which makes all the sense in the world. It, when your natural hair becomes new to you, there are complications that people don't, um, obviously for people to be looking for so many natural hair videos, there is an issue, but everybody act like it's the most wonderful thing that ever happened to them. It is difficult. It is, everybody has bad hair days on the regular. Natural hair, relaxed hair, <clears throat> Flat iron hair, breast hair, jerry curled hair. You have bad hair days. And I think the most uh, complicated thing is uh, knowing how to manage that in terms of having a variety of options. So again, I was, I was hearing that um, you're looking for the product. So I'll start by saying don't, don't pressure yourself into finding a product right now. You need to get acquainted with your hair. Keep it moisturized. You know, I know dryness is an issue for you as well. Not because I felt it when I touched it, but because uh, what you communicated to me. So keep it moisturized right now. And then you can eventually, you can gradually develop a, a way of maintaining while you wait for your growth and when your hair does grow out even an inch or two couple of few inches you're still going to be frustrated even more so because you know how when you get your hair cut when it's relaxed and you still have an awkward growth stage you you're still going to have that awkward growth stage when you're in between lengths so um one thing that I did a lot of after my hair grew out was cut it. Um, I don't recommend that if you're, uh, if you, I don't recommend that if one of your goals is to retain length. I do recommend that you cut it regularly, but not as often as I did. I literally trimmed ends almost every time I washed. So you may not want to do that. So to, in a nutshell, you want to concentrate on your style maintenance while keeping it moisturized, whatever you do. I had a video with with the mixture of products that I used for my uh, for my hair at that time. And if I find it, I'll, I'll give it to you because they're all household products. Uh, it was just a mixture of uh, castor oil. And I use regular castor oil. Most super, most Afro-Nazis will tell you to use uh, African black castor oil. I don't know anything about that. So <laughs> I use regular castor oil. I use extra virgin olive oil and I used water and um, I made my own, I guess I want to say wrapping lotion, but it wasn't for wrapping. It was for nighttime. It was for overnight moisture. And with your hair that short, you're gonna you're gonna go through different phases. You're gonna start out uh, where your ideal is going to do braid outs, um, and then you want to do and then make uh, <laughs> yeah. You just just do tiny uh, twists. You could do a twist out because yours is you you have all your uh, relaxer off. You did big chop, so you can do twist outs or braid outs. Now the shorter the hair the smaller your braids are going to it's, it's are going to be because it's more comfortable for you to do them shorter. You don't have as much hair to get in bigger braids. You do the um, Bantu knots, which is way cool. I don't know what what your issue was with that or if it was just an issue of variety. Um, eventually, after I did my twists, you know, I, I was doing a lot of uh, two-strand twists over my hair. Um, after your hair begins to grow, you don't really have to do that. You can start doing flat twists. So I did flat twists for a while. I probably did like eight flat twists all around my head. And then when I took them out, they would end up bobbing. I would go ahead and push the back up and let and pull the front out so that it would end up bobbish. So I, so I would have what I used to call a fro bob. Uh, so again, I'm jumping stages. So back to the uh, the TWA styles. I would say stick with your band two knots. 
and twist out to braid outs. You're going to have to do several of them throughout your hair right now at this stage. But it'll only be five or six months before you'll be just as fine with a flat twist. And you can do flat twists and style it as you choose after the flat twist. Whatever you do, just keep your, keep, go ahead and continue to, I know you're doing that because I felt it. Keep your hair moisturized day to day. Uh, but in doing so, see if you can find uh, even household products that don't uh, cause buildup. When you wash your hair, uh, clarify, you know to do the deep conditioning, you know to, to condition it regularly. So, And you have that beautiful, what I call a pie face. So you have a round face that... You have a round face that is really going to be framed beautifully by your TWA. So even if on a dry day, if a, on a day when your hair is particularly dry, at the length that it is now, you can actually get your moisturizer and run it through your hair. Because, yeah, continue on with your Bantu knots. You can try both braid outs and twist outs. And the truth is, for a little while, you're going to have to stick to the same basic styles. It's not a huge, there's, there's a variety, but they're the real, the <laughs> The truth of the matter is there aren't a whole lot of varieties of styles that you can wear at this stage. The good news is that at this stage, your hair will probably grow faster. And in the time that you're limited to X amount of hairstyles will be short-lived. A recap is going to be your bantus, twist-outs, braid-outs, and eventually flat twist. It's not going to be long now before you're able to to comfortably and easily do flat twists. Flat twists will um, dry a little bit faster and, and they'll be easier to do more often. So like it, just for maintenance where normally you might just put your bonnet on with flat tip for with flat twists you may be able to twist it every night or every other night without um, being extremely time consuming and it will it could easily it'll easily be dry by morning so that won't be an issue for you later on there's something that that I'll walk you through in terms of it starting you know as your hair grows it'll take longer to dry you need to do more in terms of moisturizing and also with flat tw twists once you fl get your flat twists in you can actually moisturize your actual scalp and leave it there because another benefit of when you of having short hair and doing the limited styles is that when you prepare them, uh, like when you put in the bantu knots or um, or twist outs or braid outs or in my favorite case the flat twists. Once you have those, let's just say flat twists in. I know you have more parts to work with even otherwise. Um, once you have your flat twists in and you wake up and they're dry overnight, you could actually use wherever your flat twists are parted and moisturize your scalp there. Then when you take out your flat twists and fluff it, you can also uh, massage in whatever moisturizer you used on your scalp when it was still in the twist. And that will keep your ish moisturized daily without logging up buildup because it'll be coming from your scalp out to the you know your full hair and also be keen to your ends your ends are what are, what is going to tell on you if your hair is dry you may be able to conceal the fact that it's a little dry from the roots but your ends your ends are going to put you on blast if you don't take care of them not if you don't take care your 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 ends are going to put you on blast if you don't keep them moisturized your kid, your ends are gonna be like, okay, y'all know she didn't, y'all know she didn't give me no drink right today. It's a start. The videos I've never done hair instructional type videos, so it'll get better, and I won't get mechanical, and I won't get all sales pitchy. All right, groovy smooches, love you.